the commencement ceremony for, the, for criminal justice, cybersecurity, and networking, forensic science, legal studies, leadership, and public administration programs of the School of Justice Studies will now be in order. Please be seated. Uh, slow down, I might have to go grab the speakers from this morning, so we might be a few hours. <laughs> All right, I would like, I would like to, <laughs> damn. I'd like to take a moment to introduce the members of the platform party. All right, please stand when I call your name to be recognized. Professor Sean Verano, Program Director for the Masters of Science and Criminal Justice. Professor Katrina Norvell, Program Director for the Masters in Leadership and Public Administration Program. <laughs> Professor Tricia Martland, Program Director of Legal Studies. <laughs> Professor Carla Sue Marriott, Program Director for Forensic Science. <laughs> Professor Stephanie Manzi, Director of Criminal Justice. Professor Russ Boschman. Yeah. <laughs> Professor Bob Engvall. <laughs> Professor Lisa Nusity. <laughs> Professor Kathleen Dunn. <laughs> Professor Michael Hall. <laughs> Professor Mehmet Zozer. Professor Doug White. <laughs> Professor Julie Kuhn. <laughs> Professor Richard Rose. <laughs> Professor Beck Straw. <laughs> Professor Melissa Rossano. <laughs> the Assistant Dean of the School of Justice Studies, Dave Lambert. Emma Carton, criminal justice major and student speaker. And Nicole Tella, Masters of Public Administration graduate student speaker. All right, let's get this party started, right? All right, good afternoon, family, friends, faculty, and staff, and most importantly, welcome to our graduates. Last year, the decision was made to conduct school-based commencement ceremonies. Upon finding out that I was going to speak at these events, I quickly turned to available technology to assist me in my preparation. <laughs> Last year, I searched through Google to provide me with some assistance in how to prep a proper commencement speech. I was quickly reminded that Google is a search engine and not an answer engine. <laughs> Lucky for you, my wife reminded me to kiss the speech. KISS is an acronym for keep it short, stupid. She always put a little extra emphasis on that second S, kiss the speech. Today we gather here to celebrate an incredible milestone in your lives, the culmination of years of hard work, dedication and perseverance, or possibly your tremendous understanding and employment of chat GPT. I'm honored to address you on this special occasion, particularly as we reflect on the profound impact of the concept of justice. The pursuit of justice is a noble calling, a path that demands courage, empathy, and unwavering commitment to the truth. Each one of you chose to embark on this journey because you believed in justice, and you envisioned a world where fairness prevails. You selected a career based on service to others. Or if you're like Jordan, you're just trying to become a better criminal and find out a pit to put your bodies in. <laughs> nah, there he is. <laughs> Throughout your academic journey, you were equipped, equipped excuse me, with a comprehensive understanding of the complexities that underlie society and human interactions. 
such as navigating COVID-19 and all that went along with the reopening. You have dissected its mechanisms, analyzed its flaws, and explored pathways to reform or improvement. But today, as you prepare to step away from college, remember that your education is merely the foundation upon which you will build your future. The world you are about to enter is one that grapples with a myriad of challenges, inequality, prejudice, and bias. But it is within these challenges that you will find opportunities to transform. You have the power to make a lasting difference in the lives of individuals, families, and communities. Embrace the knowledge you have gained and carry it with you as a compass guiding your actions. Use your education not just to pursue personal success, but to uplift others, amplify voices that have been silenced, and advocate for a meaningful change. Be the catalyst for society that embodies principles of fairness, rehabilitation, and equal treatment. Take that, Cummins. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I would now like to ask Professor Tricia Martland to come forward for the presentation of the President's Core Value Medallion honorees. The President's Core Values Medallion has been established to recognize graduating seniors who best reflect university core values through distinctive contributions supporting the core purpose of a Roger Williams University education to strengthen society through engaged teaching and learning. It is my honor to announce the Core Values Medallion recipients for the class of 2023. If the following individuals will please stand up. Autumn Sheldon of Criminal Justice. <laughs> Blessing, Blessing Poor from Legal Studies. and Jordan St. Ange from Legal Studies. Thank you. Congratulations. These students have exemplified our core values through inclusive, innovative, engaged, experiential, and transformative academic and co-curricular achievement throughout their years. Congratulations to our recipients and their families, friends, and faculty. Thank you, Professor Martland. I would now like to ask Ms. Emma Carton to the podium to deliver the 2023 School of Justice Studies undergraduate student commencement speech. Emma? Thank you, Bronson, for the introduction. Um, good afternoon, faculty, staff, parents, family, friends, and my fellow graduates. I'm honored to stand before you today reflecting on our journey over these past four years. We have worked so hard over the course of our time here and have been dedicated scholars, as Dean Bronson would say. Over the past four years, the Justice Studies program has provided us with noteworthy experiences throughout our academic journey. Whether it was a trip to the ACI, coming to a guest speaker night on campus, or attending the New Orleans spring break trip, we have all gained insight into the criminal justice system. However, I do believe the different experiences that we have all encountered here at Roger Williams have allowed us to grow and learn as individuals. One of my focuses, both personally and academically, has been the idea of reform and how all of us grow. The Collins English Dictionary defines reform as changes and improvements to a law, social system, or institution. When we think about reform, we can see that we have all changed and developed our own ideas of the criminal justice system and even in our own lives. Whether it's making Dean's List for the first time, moving away from home, joining a sports team, or getting the internship you've always dreamed of, reform looks different for everyone. During our time on campus, we have learned about reform in the majority of our classes. We have discovered how we can change the criminal justice system for the better. My hope after these past four years is that all of you understand how important we all are to implement changes needed to create a better system. We all grow up, we evolve, we meet new people, make connections, network, and we've all reformed into the individuals we are today. By continuing to prosper through your academic and personal journey, it will ensure a successful future for you and the justice system. 
My hope for all of us is that we leave this institution better equipped and prepared to progress towards reforming our justice system for the better. Roger Williams has given us the tools to succeed in our next chapter. As we move, as we move on, we will continue to reform and create changes for the rest of our lives. No matter what field you will enter, whether it be law enforcement, forensic science, cybersecurity, or work in the court or correctional system, you all promote change in your own ways. As you think about your future, I leave you with this. We are the change, we are the reform, and we are the future of the criminal justice system. Congratulations to the class of 2023 Justice Studies program. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. I would now like to ask Ms. Nicole Tella to the podium to deliver the 2023 School of Justice Studies graduate student commencement speech. Nicole? There are a lot more people here than you originally told me. <laughs> yes, yeah, address it for short people. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, graduates. And a side note to my fellow MPA and MS leadership students, I'm sure you're all sick and tired of hearing from me by now. <laughs> uh, thanks. <laughs> I don't know about you, but sometimes after I've heard a word over and over again in a short span of time, it begins to lose its meaning. My favorite examples are the games that kids or some annoying adults play, telling you to say that 10 times fast. And by the end, it's all just noise. You are going to hear a lot of people say congratulations over the next few hours and over the next few days. But today and every day, when someone says congratulations to you on this accomplishment, it should be taken at face value and not just because something you automatically respond with, thank you, and move on. Every time someone says congratulations, it should erase some of those late nights when you questioned your abilities and had self-doubt. Congratulations. It should, it should change some of those feelings that you may have had that you were not smart enough to finish this program and when you suffered from imposter syndrome. Congratulations. It should relieve some of those arguments you had with your significant other or your family in choosing your assignments over that holiday or family party. Congratulations. It should make you feel like every hour you thought this day would never come was making it worth so much more. Congratulations. Every sacrifice you made has helped you to arrive and sit here in front of me today. Congratulations. To our families who put up with us even when we were completely inconsolable or even downright mean. Congratulations. <laughs> this accomplishment is as much yours as it is ours, sort of. <laughs> Congratulations. Life is full of ups and downs, and I think of those ups and downs as steps or levels in life. I got up on this stage without tripping, level one complete. <laughs> levels two and three will be me getting back to, my, back to my seat and through the speech in one piece, without injury. Those are still on pause. As graduate students, I consider most of us being level nine adults. If you have your own place to call home, have kept a plant alive for more than a few days, have had the same job for more than a year, can get to work on time, most days, you have tried and failed, maybe more times than you care to admit, or maybe you have loved somebody more than you have loved yourself. These levels are sort of like a video game, the games we get to play now that we have finished our coursework. As graduate students, we are different. We have been here before, but this last time that we were here, we were young and naive and hadn't yet seen what the world had to offer us. Before we started this program, we were all comfortable in our respective levels. We all had careers, spouses, children, homes, aging parents, and other people who counted on us showing up every day. We had a routine. It takes an act of great courage to take that first step towards changing your comfort zone. And remember, comfortable and content are not the same thing. Everyone here actually took that first step and did not just dream of better tomorrows. You enrolled, you made it. Everything, everyone sitting in front of me today knows that exceeding the bounds of your comfort zone throws your old world into complete and total chaos. 
Sometimes getting to that next level is full of challenges, challenges that threaten to break us. You all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the unforeseen, those challenges that threaten to rock everything you have built and make us question every choice we have ever made. When I was an undergraduate, something happened to me, something that threw me down to rock bottom, the very bottom level in my story. I was angry, I was broken, and I lost everything that I thought I knew about myself. My comfort zone was not a good place. Instead, my comfort zone was based in routine, but the type of routine that makes you doubt yourself. I needed and wanted to do something different and important, so I enrolled in the Masters of Public Administration program here at Roger Williams. We were told on day one of the program that a capstone project probably will not change the world. Well, I certainly like a challenge, and I also like proving people wrong. Sorry, Dr. Hall. <laughs> What I found at RWU is that there is no time limit on finding yourself. I started doing research and research that I felt and have been told is important work. Encouraging young women to say those things that need to be said out loud, no matter how difficult or how close we think we have gotten to our bottom levels. I have never considered myself outstanding, but here I found that there are other people who share my thoughts and ideals and who have supported me through this journey. I would like to offer a special thank you to Marcus Hanscom for always fixing things when the cracks in our facades were beginning to show and for making all of us feel included and part of the RWU community. Thank you to Dr. Hall for pushing us beyond what we ever thought ourselves capable of. And a huge thank you to Dr. Norvell for always listening to and supporting us with boundless empathy and compassion. All of your help was indis indispensable. I have found family here at RWU. I have found people who believe in me and I have found people that push me to do more. I have found what I thought was lost at my rock bottom. Today is the beginning of knowing that I am worth more than I ever thought I was, and I genuinely hope that you see that in yourselves as well. I hope that you can see what others have always seen in you, the people here for you today, what I have seen in each and every one of you every day. Congratulate yourselves, graduates, on a job well done. After all, getting here was not easy. John F. Kennedy once said, we choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. So again, when I say congratulations, you have earned this. Congratulations, you have fought for this. Congratulations, you deserve this moment and all the opportunities it has to offer you today and every day. Congratulations on reaching level 10. All right, settle down. Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> I would like to now ask Professor Carla Sue Marriott to the podium to deliver the 2023 School of Justice Studies faculty commencement speech. Professor? Good afternoon, graduates family and friends. We have heard a lot of speeches today, right? Do you really need another one? <laughs> Don't answer that. But instead I ask you to bear with me. I will only be three minutes and 20 seconds. <laughs> Once again, congratulations. This is an extraordinary occasion. As you move on to the next phase, you are officially graduates of the School of Justice Studies at Roger Williams University. You should be proud. We are proud of you. As you commence your new journey, let me remind you that the work you will do as professionals is extremely important to our society. The challenges facing our society are becoming increasingly complex. These challenges require creative thinking, collaboration, and dynamic leadership. Each one of you brings a unique set of talents and abilities to the table for which we are ultimately very thankful. Many of you may be considering further studies in graduate school. 
to obtain a master's or even a PhD degree. Graduate school is indeed a rewarding experience that will open new doors and opportunities for you. Do not be tempted, as my previous speaker said, to stay within your comfort zone. Push yourself beyond what you already know. Seek out opportunities to learn and grow, whether it be through further education, training, or professional development. I have had the pleasure of teaching some of you in the Forensic Science Lab, and I am absolutely impressed with your objective, meticulous, and detail-oriented work. Some of you will know I request detail-oriented lab reports, right? These skills will serve you well throughout your career. However, remember, the technologies and techniques that you learned here at Roger will continue to change and improve. Therefore, it is important that you remain curious and continue to learn throughout your career. Most importantly, remember the importance of integrity, ethics, and professionalism. Your work will have a profound impact on the lives of others. You will face complex cases, difficult decisions, and ethical dilemmas. Always strive to act with integrity, fairness, and respect for the law. Decisions have real-world consequences on real lives. Finally, as you get ready to take flight from the hawk nest, you must never forget why you chose this career path. Your work is not a job. It is a calling. Embrace it with purpose and dedication. On our most recent trip to New Orleans, we visited with Sister Helen Prejean, a very prominent activist for social justice. She wished us farewell with these words, as I too remind you today. Do good work. Keep her words in your hearts. Thank you, and go Hawks. Thank you, Professor Marriott. Um, I'm, I'm going to go off script here real quick. I would like to ask all of our students to please give our faculty a big hand for all that they've been doing for you. <laughs> I just, I want to mention real quick, uh, point out something, some real quick awards for them. Uh, in the fall, Professor Beck Straw was the School of Justice Studies Professor of the Year. <laughs> or of the semester, excuse me. And then this semester, Sean Verano was the School of Justice Studies Professor of the semester. Good work. I, I, I think it's necessary for me, though, to, to bring up one other professor um, and thank her for all of her years of service to all of you and a few more because she's been doing this longer than most of you have been alive. So Professor Dunn, thank you for 25 years. All right. Just, just a little something. Don't, you can't open that now. <laughs> we now proceed to the chief purpose of these commencement exercises, the conferring of academic degrees upon the class of 2023. Our undergraduate students today wear a hood signifying their graduation with the bachelor's degree and permanent connection to Roger Williams University. These hoods bear the RWU colors of white and light blue. Students receiving master's degree today will be hooded by a member of the school faculty as they process, process through, for, through for their degrees. The formal hooding of students receiving advanced degrees is a centuries old practice and signifies students' achievements in their chosen field of study. Master's students' hoods include a wide velvet band in a color denoting the academic area in which their degree is held. We would also like to acknowledge students who have the distinction of graduating with honors. Would all of the students graduating cum laude please stand if you are able.
Will all the students graduating magna cum laude please stand if you are able. Finally, will the students graduating summa cum laude, which is a 3.8 or higher, please stand and be congratulated. Your hard work and commitment to academic excellence are to be commended, and we are proud of all your accomplishments. We will now begin the conferral of degrees. for the Master of Public Administration, Jacob William Gansert. <laughs> Master of Public Administration, Marisa Monegro Ramirez. Master of Public Administration, Sean Knight Shah. <laughs> Master of Public Administration, Brittany Nicole Horner. Master of Public Administration, Nicole M. Tella. <laughs> Master of Science and Leadership, Vanessa Otero Plata. Master of Science in Leadership, Brianne Marie Pulver. <laughs> Master of Science in Leadership, Danielle Marie Thompson. Master of Science in Criminal Justice in the 4 Plus 1 program, Mark Stephen Lubin.
Master of Science, Criminal Justice 4 Plus 1 program, Grace Veronica Amato. Master of Science, Criminal Justice 4 Plus 1 program, Samantha Jane Poland. <laughs> Master of Science, Criminal Justice 4 Plus 1 program, Kayla Ann Ferrante. For the Master of Science in Cybersecurity, Jeffrey Munoz. <laughs> For the Master of Science in Cybersecurity, Loren Maria Velasquez Smith. <laughs> the Master of Science in Criminal Justice, Charlotte Kathleen Gilmet. For the Master of Science in Criminal Justice 4 Plus 1 program, Alexandra Renee Welch. For the Master of Science in Criminal Justice 4 Plus 1 program, Jacob Wright Belzerini. Master of Science in Criminal Justice, Cole Bronson Anweiler. <laughs> Master of Science, Criminal Justice 4 Plus 1 program, Prashant Anand Shivali. The Master of Science, Criminal Justice 4 Plus 1 program, Madison Alexandria King. <laughs> From Long Island, the Master of Science and Criminal Justice, Brianna Marie Soder. Master of Science, Criminal Justice 4 Plus 1 program, Bethany Ruth Gartner. <laughs> Master of Science, Criminal Justice 4 Plus 1 program, Amanda Ashlyn Neff.
Master of Science, Criminal Justice 4 Plus 1 program, Katerina Teodosio. <laughs> Master of Science, Criminal Justice 4 Plus 1 program, Gianna Marie Nickerson. Master of Science, Criminal Justice 4 Plus 1 program, Kayla Elise Natalo. <laughs> Master of Science, Criminal Justice, Frank M. Impagliazzo. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, summa cum laude, Autumn Rose Sheldon. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Psychology, cum laude, Emma Rose Carton. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Tyler James Montaigne. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, cum laude, Erin Nicole Burke. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Marina Grasso. Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Political Science, Gloria Mar Maria Carolina Paz. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude, Marissa Mullen. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Political Science, Summa Cum Laude, Jordan Riley St. Ange. Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Summa Cum Laude, Eden Madugser. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Josh Wright. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude, Tiana Adams. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Lena Rita Delabney. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Political Science, Gabriel Elise Ruggiero. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Olivia May Lynch. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude, Lina Teresa Luzietti.
Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Elizabeth Ann Marston. Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, Psychology, Foreign Language, Magna Cum Laude, Samantha Jacqueline Cook. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Amela Rich MacDonald. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Nicholas Robert Reyes. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Kara Ann McDonough. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Emma Catherine Sheehan. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Magna Cum Laude, Jalen Victoria Bodell. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, Foreign Language, Summa Cum Laude, Megan Beatriz Du Soto. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, Psychology, Nevea Marie Sorrentino. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude, Brianna Marie Williams. Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, Individualized Major in Writing, Rhetoric, and Culture, Magna Cum Laude, Janessa Jalen Avila Crespo. Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and History, Summa Cum Laude, Jennifer Rodriguez. Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, Foreign Language, Summa Cum Laude, Isabella. Maria Rosado. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude, Mariam Adiola Sanusi. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Political Science, Zachary Joseph LaFontaine. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice and Psychology, Magna Cum Laude, Lauren Elise Wakanavis. Wakanavis. Yeah. How are you? How are you? Yeah, Bachelor of Science in Forensic Science, Cum Laude, Julia Lorraine Leach. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude, Caitlin Olivia Blythe. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude, Kimberly N. Rodriguez. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Legal Studies and Psychology, Summa Cum Laude, Megan Renee Griswold. Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Political Science, Summa Cum Laude, Caitlin Kelsey. How are you? Congratulations. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude, Michael Spencer DeSalvio. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice and Psychology, Cheyenne M. Besser.
Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Isabel Rose Bosworth. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science, uh, Criminal Justice, Forensic Science, Rachel A. Peral. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Cum Laude, Jolene Marie Nunez. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Shana Ruth Goldstein. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice and Psychology, Lexi here are Wolak. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Misiel S. Mendez. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Terrence Power Kenny. Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Criminal Justice and Psychology, Summa Cum Laude, Samantha May Brody. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Criminal Justice and Psychology, Magna Cum Laude, Brianna Monique Clark. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice and Psychology, Imani Najee Hall. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Nutali Nicole Monte Romero. Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Political Science, Summa Cum Laude, Blessing Poor. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Augustine K. Moore. Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Political Science, Summa Cum Laude, Jerry Ellis, Marie Polonio. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Political Science, Summa Cum Laude, Evan Brian Mello. Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Political Science, Elizabeth Candelaria Laura. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude, Marinella Galan Jimenez. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cameron James Duffy. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Calvin J. Shemansky.
Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Phil Bway Johnson. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude, Katie J. Procasino. Congratulations. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, James Wright. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Noah Michael Mendoza. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Brandon Paul Giglio. Yep. Got it. Thank you. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Maxwell Lewis Sussman. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Elijah J. Bellarino. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Nicholas Leonard Nigro. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Josh Allen Rivera. Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Psychology, Christian Edward Rayside. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, Communication and Media Studies, Jenna M. Power. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude, Sophia Marie, Marianne Arineo. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, and Psychology, Cum Laude, Beverly Marie Tobin. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice and Psychology, Ella Olivia Grace Roscoe. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice and Psychology, Cum Laude, Jamie Marie Baird. Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Political Science, Louis Philippe Degarte. <laughs> Bachelor of Science and Forensic Science, Emily Ann Valcourt. <laughs> Bachelor of Science and Legal Studies and Political Science, Summa Cum Laude, Melina Alanis Almeida. Bachelor of Science in Forensic Science, Magna Cum Laude, Emma N. Moran. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Forensic Science and Chemistry, Hannah Marie Scheffler. Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and History, Summa Cum Laude, Addison J. Beauvais. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Psychology, Jennifer Stewart. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Jordan Cesar Delval.
Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Thomas Patrick Gallagher. Right. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Anthro and Sociology, Leonard Julius Bright. Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Summa Cum Laude, Erin Marie Riley. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking, I Andy Gregory Safer. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Emma Ann Cunningham. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice and Psychology, Cum Laude, Olivia Grace Hampy. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude, Reiki Thomas Milan. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, R Riley Elizabeth Cavanaugh. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Forensic Science, Cum Laude, Soyeon Kim Choi. Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking, Magna Cum Laude, Adam Jason Webb. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking, Cum Laude, Colin Russell Campbell. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Elijah Franklin Eckert. Bachelor of Science in Forensic Science, Caitlin Alice Ouellette. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Cum Laude, Abigail Lenore Magera. Bachelor of Science in Forensic Science, Sarah Nicole Bentz. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude, and our work study student, Sean Edward Daly. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude, Jake Putterman. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Sam Christopher Vero. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Eric Charles Altabello. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Cum Laude, Abigail Wynn Bagonis. Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Cum Laude, Joshua Richard Morris and Deutsch. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Brendan Patrick Truman. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Cum Laude, Jared Allen Fucci. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Morgan Marie Foley. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Grace Ann Shannon.
Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Colby Wentworth Ibitson. Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Criminal Justice, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude, Olivia Scunzio. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Sue C. Fox. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude, Serena Dunn Sacati. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Margaret Rose Longworth. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking, Summa Cum Laude, Kendra Elizabeth Sherrock. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Christopher Robert Floyd. Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking, Magna Cum Laude, Zachary Lewis Silva. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking, Summa Cum Laude, Kyle E. Hadfield. Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking, Christopher Arthur Johnson. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking, Magna Cum Laude, Evan Jared Isaac. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking, Summa Cum Laude, Robert P. Murphy III. Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity Networking, Summa Cum Laude, Matthew Timothy King. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity Networking, Anna Renee Layback. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity Networking, Summa Cum Laude, Nathan Everett Gershman. Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking, Magna Cum Laude, Ian George Gurdon. Congratulations, graduates. All right, one last thing I always have to do. On behalf of the university, thank you all for joining us here today and celebrating these commencement exercises. Graduates, please stand and remain at your seats until all members of the recessional, including our graduates, have, that's the redundancy department, have exited, exited the tent. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs> 